Hey everybody, so Life Lesson Friday for March 29th, 2024. Um, this Good Friday of this year. I thought I would talk about finding the good, right? And that's one of the things that um, Mr. Rogers used to say in how do you talk to kids about disasters or tragedies, right? And you find the good. Find the people that are doing good. Find the good that comes out of something. As horrible as some things are, right? Find the good that comes out of it. And that's so important when it comes to Easter. Because if you're a believer in Jesus Christ, then, you know, he died for our no reason. I mean, I mean, I, I, yes, there's a reason, but like he wasn't a criminal. He, he was innocent, like, and, and yet they killed him. And so he did actually die for a reason because he died to save us from our sins. Big picture reason. But finding the good in that is that three days pass and he ascends. He rises from the grave. Did I say that correctly? He, he rose from the grave. I don't know if rises is a word. But he rose from the grave and provides us an avenue to get to heaven, to live an eternal life with God. So, but whether you believe that or not, when there's something difficult in your life, when there is a tragedy in your life, when there is things that are tough and hard, because that does happen. You know, I was talking to one of my athletes today and I said, the event that you run has difficulty. It has a pain factor to it. If you run hard enough from an effort standpoint, not a time on the clock, but from an effort standpoint, if you push yourself, there will be pain. Like, there's no way around it. It's just the way that that race is. And so, what do you do with it when it happens? Right? And so, we know that life has difficulties. There's ups and downs. There's tragedies that happen. Right? There's... There's good things that happen. But when those negative, tough tragedies, difficulties, things that happen that we don't think we're ever going to find our way out of, find the good. Right? Find the good things that can come out of it. Focus on those things. Focus on the positives. You know, I've been laid off from a job before. I've been fired from a job before. And... You know, when I was laid off, the, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. The best thing that ever happened to me. At the time, it was tough. At the time, I was upset, pissed off, like didn't understand what was going on. Looking back, the best thing that ever happened to me because that was the last job that I ever had. Now I work for myself. I work for my clients. I work for my customers. And I provide them the coaching and the avenue that they need to get the results that they want and make their lives better. And it's not a job. It's my purpose and my life work. That's the good that came out of that. Right? And so finding the good is hugely important to, in my, in my mind, that's more important than money. It's more important than anything else is finding the good in the situations that happen to you because then you can be, you can rest easy. You can be at a different level of contentment. You can look at life for what it truly is. It's going to have ups and downs. It's going to have peaks and valleys. How you adjust to that, how you handle that, Finding the good in things and keep going makes it a heck of a lot easier. I'm not saying it's easy. Just like I told that athlete, it, it's not easy running her race. But it's easier to get to the finish line. If you know the pain's coming, you're not trying to avoid it. You know it's coming. You're going to embrace it. You're going to say, I know you're coming. I know you're there. And we're going to push through you. We're going to knock you down. Because the good piece of that race is finishing strong, finishing well, 
and being happy with the success and the race effort that you put in. Doesn't matter what the time is. Are you happy with the effort that you put in? That's the way you should be judging yourself. So, um, That's just the little tidbit that I wanted to share on Good Friday is how do you find the good in things that are happening when it might seem like the whole world is falling down around you uh, or collapsing on you or everybody's out to get you. Um, these are common things that I hear from people and it's not that way. It's not that way. When you take a step back and you look at all the good things that are happening in the world, sure, there's a lot of negatives. There's a lot of bad things. There's a lot of evil. I'm not trying to say anything. that None of that exists and like it's all just pie in the sky. But when you find the good, it makes it a heck of a lot easier to live your life, to focus on what you want to focus on and to be able to get up day after day.